It was a dark, scary, cold, mid-60s, Los Angeles night. A girl. Oh, that's really flattering. I'm actually in my late 20s. An adult woman who still doesn't have her shit together. Excuse me? Lit the black flamed candle. So about that, I couldn't find a black flamed candle, but I hope this one works. Lit the overpriced candle that every influencer has. Okay, okay, wait a minute. It actually smells amazing. In hopes that you'd stop making boring YouTube videos. Um, sure, I was gonna use a different word, but okay. So on this full moon, let it be known so she can seal her fate. Yeah, let's seal this shit. Hi, it's Jess. Through the weather in LA, today is so overcast and spooky. I've been so jumpy, like my heart's racing right now. Clearly, I don't do scary. I don't do scary movie commercials. But for some reason, I thought it'd be fun today to drive to all of the haunted houses in LA. Well, I mean like the houses used in scary movies. Guys, I'm so scared right now. <sighs> my heart is racing! We have arrived at the house of my first scary movie ever. I don't think I've watched it since. Middle school or high school? Ooh, it fucked me up. This is the house of the main character from The Ring. Well, I thought it was, but I realized while editing, I was at the wrong house. The actual house is on South McCadden Place. I was on North McCadden Place. This is the actual house, literally a mile away. <sighs> We're not starting off this video so strong, but there's only up from here, right? On a quiet palm tree lined street, we have the house best known from American Horror Story, but it's also been in a bunch of other scary TV shows and stuff. I made it through like half an episode of American Horror Story because I'm a weenie. Ew, this chair is creepy. But angry ghosts and spookiness aside, this house is beautiful. Architect Alfred Rosenheim built this in 1908 as his own home. The house is such a cool mix of architectural styles. It makes for the perfect on-screen haunted house. Isn't it funny how almost all haunted houses in movies or TV shows look like some sort of version of this? Like ornate, imposing, maybe some sort of Tudor or Victorian revival. The Addams Family cartoons really solidified the dominating, decaying Victorian mansion as pop culture's go-to haunted house. Like look at the Bates Mansion from Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. Maybe you've seen it on the Universal Studios back lot tour? Oh my god, that was like my favorite ride. He was inspired by Edward Hopper's painting. It represented the modern world moving forward while these old styles of homes were left behind to decay in the shadows. So dramatic. Anyway, this was cool. I love the Halloween decor, but I'm still not gonna watch American Horror Story. We are now in Beverly Hills. This next house is my favorite. I used to beg my parents to drive by it when I was a kid. And there it is in this fancy ass neighborhood not blending in. This is nicknamed the Witch's House or Spadina House. It was built in 1921 by Harry Oliver and used to be a movie studio in Culver City, which is like five miles away. It was a silent movie set and dressing room, but then moved to this spot in 1926. It feels like we just stepped into a fairy tale storybook. Isn't this crazy? I bet this is the go-to spot for trick-or-treaters on Halloween. This can be seen in the movie Clueless, like that scene where Cher is distraught and strolling around Beverly Hills. I noticed there are randomly a ton of butterflies hanging out here, really adding to the quaint fairy tale ambiance of the place. Like, do you see this one? They're so cute. The house was never intended to be lived in, but the current owner has been taking the best care of it, really leaning into its unique qualities. Okay, it was also in the 1957 horror film, The Undead, but I'd prefer to focus on the Clueless part. I had to make an emergency pit stop at Cha Cha Matcha because I was parched. Vlogging is hard. This is my matcha chai and thank goodness it has revived me for our next stops. Recognize this? I don't. But it was Nancy's house in Nightmare on Elm Street, which obviously I haven't seen because it sounds scary. I don't know, maybe it's a me thing, but I don't like the idea of someone chasing after me when I'm asleep, unless it's Billie Eilish. And Nancy's boyfriend, Glenn, played by Johnny Depp, lived at this house across the street. I know the movie was supposed to take place in Ohio, but nope, it's here in LA and like West Hollywood. But this area does feel like it could pass for the Midwest, right? Now we're driving like literally two minutes away. These homes were in the movie Halloween. Most of the filming was done in South Pasadena, which is like 20 miles away. 
but these two homes are where Annie and Lori are babysitting. They're literally across the street from each other. And you guessed it, I haven't seen that movie either. I'm sorry, I'm more of a hocus pocus, Halloween town kind of girl. But literally comment below for which one of these movies I mentioned I should make myself watch. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. Subscribe, like, comment if you dare, or if you just feel bad for me. See you guys soon.